as an artist I've always been interested in drawing and anything to do with art or anything creative since I was quite a little child and I just enjoy it. It was my favourite subject at school. When I was uh, a bit older in the, uh, in the teenage years, they, at lunchtime they would say, Margaret, can you do my portrait? And they would sit opposite me and I would do portraits <laughs> in the lunch hour. And then I went to college and the uh, teachers there, the lecturers were very encouraging of my work because I did uh, art as a main subject, art and uh, crafts and I did particularly enjoy that, as well as enjoying college life. What I particularly enjoy is being outside in a countryside where I'm, I'm inspired and enjoying it. I enjoy doing, I do the sketching first with the drawing and then I will maybe paint it. Sometimes I'll do more detailed um, linear work with the sketch to make the tones stronger. Sometimes I will paint it as well, but I enjoy it all. And uh, I especially enjoy more recently uh, painting in watercolour because you can get effects that uh, work very well. My style of painting is now figurative and it is uh, tonal and becoming more impressionistic uh, as I go on. Some of my latest paintings are uh, very much more uh, softer edges in places, not as hard and not as detailed, uh, and I, that's the way I'm aiming to continue to grow. I do sketches as well, so I always have a little sketchbook in my handbag. Sometimes people say, your work in the sketchbook, why are you doing it in the sketchbook? You can't do anything with it, but I'm doing it for me. That's for me. Mostly it's not to produce some artwork to, to display, to exhibit or to sell. It's mostly for me in the sketchbook and my sketchbook work is actually my best work. I enjoy sketching because I'm inspired by what I'm looking at. I like to sketch what I can see. Uh, so I'll start sketching in pencil and then maybe for, if I'm in the countryside, I'll sketch for maybe um, two hours, have, go and have lunch and then I will go and do, go back and do paint, paint over it. But sometimes I leave it as a graphite pencil sketch, maybe using different grades of pencil and uh, if I feel it's sufficient, I want to leave it, I don't want to add paint, then I will do that. It, it just depends. I like to work from life but I do tend to uh, need photographs because you can't always be in the right place and sit for two or three hours doing a drawing. I have written a couple of books. They're all about drawing which is uh, different from just sketching. They've been very successful, particularly the second book about landscapes, which, uh, which you know, is more what I usually do when I'm doing art for exhibition work. They, uh, they've printed and they've sold a lot. Um, in fact, they've nearly sold out. They've had to reprint both books. And the, um, the, both books have been translated into French both books have been translated into Spanish and who knows what else might happen because uh, it, uh, they go on from that. A successful artist needs to have a little or more creative talent uh, to start with and then they need to work very hard and be determined not to give up. Hard work is about 90% of that and about 5% of actual initial talent and uh, that's, that's how you become successful, maybe. In a bit of here, and then I can just dab into them like you would with watercolour. So in some ways it's like watercolour, but there are... Also, I demonstrate to art groups locally and that's good because they know what they're looking at and they're interested and uh, hanging on every word. They also like to see the movement, they like to see the thing from, from near the beginning. Sometimes I'll do the drawing first 
and uh, then paint because I only got about an hour and a half at the most to finish it. So I try and get as much done so it looks more finished uh, when I come to have to pack up and uh, go home. I've been trying to show all these people in the Astrid Art Group things that I've discovered because I've experimented. I do different things and even today I found out something that I hadn't done before with uh, using ink tents and the brush-o inks together. So it's, it's great fun. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy sharing things because I'm a teacher at heart and I'm also an artist. So sharing what I've uh, found works is, gives me great pleasure. The underlying message from the start, whether they're beginners or intermediate or getting on, uh, three things that I expect and I aim to have in each class that I do. First of all, that you've learned something new. Secondly, that you've got a painting or something to take home and show your friends, your family, uh, what you've done. And the third thing, which is really very important, is that you've had fun and you've enjoyed doing it. <laughs>